Yo, welcome back to another video, everybody. Today in this video, we're going to be going over everything that's coming in the very last update of Chapter 5 Season 2. You heard me correctly. The last update of Chapter 5 Season 2. This is going to be the absolute last one. And we're going to go over everything. There is a lot to uncover here. So let's go ahead and get started. And without wasting your time and all that. And if you guys do like these type of videos, be sure to leave a like on the video. It would help me out tremendously. You know, I understand how much it means to me when you guys hit the like button and stuff. Only if you want to, of course. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, everything that's coming in tomorrow's update, it, it, it's big. So, grab your popcorn and your drink and sit down and let's, let's go and unveil. Obviously, there'll be new cosmetics, as there always is. And new shop tabs, as, you know, we get this every, you know, every single update usually. We'll get new skins or new collabs or something like that. Something, but mainly it's, the whole topic here is going to be Star Wars, so because of May the 4th, blah, 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 blah. Star Wars map changes, so I'm assuming something around the map will have, will have some map changes for the Star Wars, everything going Star Wars related more or less. And the Mythics, the Mythic, I, if I can find the video, I'm going to have it up for you, but there's a crossbow, it's, um, Chewbacca's, Chewbacca's crossbow should be coming into the game, maybe more, I'm assuming the lightsabers as well. Because I don't see why they wouldn't bring those back. It'd be kind of weird. And I'm hoping, personally, I don't know about you guys, I'm hoping we see a Lego. Like like a Lego Star Wars kind of event. Like, um, more or less, I know there's a lot going on with Lego right now. But I mean, like, uh, Lego's lightsabers would be pretty cool to see. And obviously, there's going to be more Mythics. We don't know everything, but that's so far what we know. The Olympics and all the other stuff that's returning, like the... Uh, the wings are returning tomorrow. Hades, um, the Hades chains and stuff like that. They're all returning. Everything that went that went bye bye is coming back now. So um, that's pretty cool. Ninety plus new Fortnite Lego edit styles. Uh, I'll throw them up on the screen if you care about them. I will do it for you just if if you care about them. I don't personally, but it's there for you. A possible third wave of My Hero Academia villains. So, that'll be pretty cool. And, obviously, uh, Season 3, more, like, b building up to the Season 3 event or leaks or whatever about it, we'll most likely get some more of those coming in later tonight as well. So, to go, to go over some of the things that are actually uh, coming and returning in the item shop with collabs and stuff, because I'm sure that's what most people want to know. Mainly all of the Star Wars stuff, I would say, like Luke Skywalker, even though it doesn't say here, I'll tell you what it says. Uh, this is by Fire Monkey, Sheena, and Hypex, and all the big leakers. I am not a faker. This isn't me telling you BS. I'm not BSing you, by the way. Um, so the following Star Wars series skins will be returning to the item shop over the course of the collabs. That's meaning at some point during us, during the collab, more or less. We are going to get some of these Star Wars skins. The original trilogy, Boba Fett, Han Solo, Leanne Organa, Emperor Stormtrooper, and the new trilogy, uh, Rey, Finn, uh, Zora Bliss, Kylo Ren, Sith Trooper. Um, if not stated, other cosmetics will return or not. It's like a 50-50, you know. It, since it's Star Wars, I don't see why anything that's Star Wars related besides Darth Vader, which I didn't get, so naturally, I won't be getting him, unfortunately. But, hey, it's there. That's everything that's mainly coming, so anything Star Wars, because every, every year we've been getting Star Wars stuff back, so I don't see why they're going to change it now and not give us all the Star Wars stuff back. So, expect everything back, back in the item shop that's Star Wars related. Um, so the Fortnite X uh, Star Wars event trailer, if you didn't see it, I'll have it playing right now. Uh, I'll have it muted, of course. I'll have it going. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, I don't really know how to feel about it. I'm not a big Lego fan, and that's going to lead me into the next topic. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but you, we are expecting another mini pass. So obviously, I'll throw the screenshot up on the screen for you. Uh, we're getting another mini pass. Um, I don't really know Fortnite's objective here. I mean, I don't really know how to feel about it because of like, you know, we're getting a lot of mini passes. I don't know about you, how you guys feel about it and stuff, but you know, we're getting another mini pass. We've had one for Fortnite Festival now, 
Fortnite, you know, <laughs> Fortnite Festival, the Battle Pass, and now a Lego Fortnite, and the Battle Pass on top of that. We're getting so many, and the Avatar one we just had, that's actually leaving, so if you haven't done your challenges, be sure to do them before, uh, obviously, that goes bye-bye tomorrow. All the Mythics and stuff like that, like I said, are being vaulted. And I'll have it up on screen for you guys to see it as well. Um, the Chewbacca Pass, I I don't necessarily like the idea of everything being locked behind Lego. And apparently it's only going to last till May 14th. So, you know, we'll have to see there. But at least we get a Chewbacca skin. Um, obviously I'll be streaming a little bit of this. So if you want to jump in and look at some of the leaks and stuff, be sure to. And uh, obviously hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps... Turn them post notices on as well, so whenever I do go live, you can get the notification. You come check it, check me out, and we can go over the leaks together. But, I mean, I don't really know how to feel about it being locked behind a paywall. The Lego stuff, of course. Um, you know, it is, we're getting a lot of Legos, like, well, we're getting a lot of passes, let me say that. Like, a lot of, like, battle pass stuff, things. Um, Kind of weird, but at least we get to see Chewbacca in the games. That's probably the one positive note to take here. Now, to go over a little bit of the new Star Wars skins that have been leaked, I'll obviously have them up for you, as many as I can find. Um, I'm not going to try to say the name, uh, but Dagobah Luke. You can clown me in the comments. Go for it. Uh, Lando. I'm not going to say his last name. He is in there as well. AWR Trooper. Chewbacca. I was a big Star Wars fan, for anybody wondering. I I was when I was younger, but not anymore. I kind of grew out of Star Wars. I still like it. Chewbacca's a cute skin. He's funny at, in the show, in the games as well. But, you know, you know what I mean. But those are all the new skins that are coming from Star Wars. All the new ones that are found right now. That It's subject to change, you know. We were supposed to be getting a lot of... Uh, I think it was Princess uh, Leia or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote, me, don't quote me if I'm wrong. It was another skimmer we were supposed to be getting. I guess they scrapped it for the Luke, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever, because we already had Luke Skywalker, blah, 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 because, you know. You know. But uh, that's mainly to unveil some of the big, big Lego, like the more of the big update part of it, but the some of the cool stuff that we will be getting... Uh, a galaxy full of quests. Uh, put your broadcast and blaster skills to the test to complete Battle Royale. Star Wars quest, you'll receive a battle pass level up for completing five of these quests. And an AWR back, back bling for completing ten. So, I'll have it up on screen for you guys to see it as well. Um, that's kind of the back bling. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool to go with a couple things, but obviously we're not... Uh, most of everything, don't expect everything here to be free. I'd expect some stuff to obviously be, you know, behind that paywall, you know what I mean? So expect that, for sure, for sure. So to go over some of the things that are actually coming back, this is called Chewbacca Joins the Fight, meaning he's joining in on the Battle of Star Wars. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see his uh, Chewbacca skin sooner, which is kind of surprising to me. But hey, at least we finally got it and it's here now. So some of the stuff that's coming back, I'm going to have to look at the names because I don't know a lot of these. The E-11 Blaster is coming, so that is pretty dope to see. And as stated earlier, the new and brand new uh, Mythic of Chewbacca's, I don't know, they don't have a name here. I don't see it at least. Uh, Fire Monkey didn't. Uh, I, it's his crossbow. Chewbacca's crossbow is going to be coming into the game, which is super cool, super cool. And obviously, Darth Vader's sword will be able to be wielded once again inside of Fortnite, which is pretty cool. It really sucks that I didn't get to get Darth Vader. I did pay for the Battle Pass. I just didn't get it because I was paying for crew all this time. It's a bit unfortunate that I didn't get him, but it's okay. At least I still get to enjoy the brand new stuff that is coming, as well of... The, we're getting some Fortnite Festival stuff. I uh, don't expect any less. Anything's gonna, the whole Fortnite's gonna be covered in Star Wars for the next, probably, till May 14th. So, expect that. Uh, so obviously we're getting a new Fortnite Festival stuff and a new guitar as well. I'm not gonna throw it up on screen because it's not really worth it. You can just see it in the item shop or whenever they decide to put it in there. It's not really worth showing you just because of the fact of, you know, it, it's coming. And I'm sure a lot of people don't really care about Festival that much. And some more Rocket, if you care about, like, Rocket Racing and stuff. 
I'll throw that up on screen because that, that's kind of a big thing there as well. Uh, I'll throw it up on screen. And that way you guys can see it. You get like a cool little two cars and some rocket boost it looks like. So that'll be pretty cool. So this does start, I want to tell everybody, this starts May 3rd at 9 a.m. For all the quests it seems like. And it seems like the last big update is going to be Friday. So um, Friday is the big update guys. So um, we're obviously going to be unveiling it like I said. So if you want to go over the leaks with me and have fun, chill, and talk to me, be a great, uh, great night. L come join me tonight. Hit that noti bell. Hit that like button. And the last thing we're going to be going over here is the car, a ride fit uh, for Bounty Hunter. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that was actually my favorite uh, Star Wars character when I was growing up, Bounty Hunter. He was pretty cool. And I'll obviously have it thrown up on screen for you guys so uh, you guys can obviously see it. And the big last thing, obviously, this is like a big, another big Lego event for us people because I think they're trying to repopulate Lego again and make it be a thing again. So obviously, we're gonna get Star Wars stuff like prox. It looks like proximity mines, some little weapons of Star Wars, like a, a new little crafting bench, and lightsabers and some villages. It looks like, but obviously, not nothing too important. But before I end off the video here, guys, um, I just want to say, because I, I, like, I'm like i tired of like hearing it a lot, uh, he, Sheena has officially said that Kratos will be coming back. I hate to like keep bringing it on and bringing it on and bringing it on, even though it was April 20th was his big day or whatever, he was supposed to come back, but I want to say that he is coming back, he is. It's just whenever they decide to throw him out there, you know. It's whenever Epic's decision. I don't know a release date, but I would su say it's going to be either after this collab or before the collab. I would say just keep up to date on it. You know, it, he's going to come out eventually. I would just, you know, get your V-Bucks ready. And if you are going to be buying him, use code Frazzle on your Fortnite item shop. It would help support me so much. Hashtag Epic Partner, by the way. Um... But yeah, guys, that's going to end off the video. Uh, if you guys are excited, uh, let me know in the comments below. Because I know I'm pretty excited about it. I know we don't get a lot of... This is kind of like a new jump for Fortnite again. And I'm kind of I'm kind of in the middle about it. I think it's going to be amazing. But obviously, let me know how you guys feel about it. Obviously, we get one every year, so it's kind of like the same thing. But like, you know, it's still good that they're keeping up to date with stuff. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button. Stay awesome. Take care, as always, and I will see you guys in the next one.